Hello friends, welcome to ISFI on YouTube channel. In this video lecture series, we will deal with Sankar IS environment. Today we will discuss on chapter one that is ecology, where you learn about ecology, environment, levels of ecology, ecosystem and its classification, what is ecotone, what is niche, what are biomes and its types, what are aquatic zones, and lastly, what is biosphere? First is ecology. So, what is ecology? Ecology is a scientific study of the relationship of the living organisms with each other and with their environment. Next comes to environment. Environment is defined as the sum total of living, non living components, their influences and events surrounding an organism. What are components of environment? The components of environment includes biotic and abiotic. Bi biotic component includes the living components and abiotic includes the non-living components of environment. Next is ecosystem. Ecosystem is a chain of interaction between organisms and their environment. It is the structural and functional unit of biosphere which consists which consists of community of living beings and the physical environment what are the components of ecosystem first is the abiotic components which includes the soil water air light energy temperature which are inorganic and non living in nature next it comes to biotic components which are living organisms that comprises plants animals and microbes Next is autotrophs that they are the primary producers. Primary producers are basically green plants like certain bacteria and algae. They synthesize carbohydrate from simple inorganic raw materials by the process of photosynthesis. In terrestrial ecosystem, producers are basically herbaceous and woody plants. In aquatic ecosystem, producers are various species of microscopic algae. What are consumers or heterotrophs or phagotrophs? Consumers or heterotrophs or phagotrophs mainly depend on organic food that are derived from plants, animals, or both, we can say. What are micro consumers? Micro consumers feed on plants or animals or both and are categorized on the basis of their food sources. What is micro consumers now? They are also known as saprotrophs, decomposers, or osmotrophs, which are basically bacteria and fungi who obtain energy and nutrients by decomposing dead organic substances of plant and animal origin. Earthworm and certain soil organisms are detritus feeders. Next comes to the classification of ecosystems. Basically, ecosystem is of two types. The first one is the terrestrial ecosystem which includes forest, grasslands and deserts and next is the aquatic ecosystem which includes fresh water, saline water and marine. Next comes to ecotone. It is a zone of junction between two or more diverse ecosystems. For example, the mangrove forests which represent an ecotone between marine and terrestrial ecosystem. Other examples include grassland, estuary and river bank. Ecotone is also known as the zone of tension. What is edge effect? When the number of species and the population density of some of the species is much greater, it is known as an edge effect. Next, edge species. When organisms which occur primarily or most abundantly in this ecotone zone, then the species are called as edge species. It is primarily occur most abundantly. It is known as, they are also known as edge space. The knees. Each species occupies a knees in the community. A knees is the role the species plays and includes the type of food it eats, where it lives, where it reproduces, and its relationships with other species. A niche 
it is the functional unique functional role or place of species in an ecosystem needs it is a description of all the biological physical and chemical factors that a species needs to survive stay healthy and reproduce and this is a unique for a species which means no two species have exact identical needs needs plays an important role in conservation of organisms next is biomes biomes are the terrestrial part of the biosphere which is divisible into enormous regions biomes are characterized by climate vegetation animal life and a general soil type no two biomes are alike the climate determines the boundaries of a biome next comes to the types of biomes first one is a tundra biome it is the northern and southern most region of the world that adjoins the ice bound poles the devoid of trees except stunted shrubs here the flora founds are uh, lichens mosses sages and fauna includes reindeer arctic fox polar bear snowy owl here the reptiles and amphibians are almost absent next comes to the taiga biome the northern europe asia and north america where the moderate temperature than tundra here the temperature is moderate than tundra it is also known as the boreal forest flora includes coniferous evergreen fauna includes hogs fur bearing little mink or elks puma siberian tiger etc next come to the temperate deciduous forest it is a type of biome which extends over central and southern europe eastern north america western china japan new zealand etc under the biome the average temperate are moderate and abundant rainfalls so there are uh, these are generally the most productive agriculture areas of the earth the flora includes trees like beech oak maple and cherry most animals are the familiar vertebrates and invertebrates next biome is tropical rainforest tropical areas in the equatorial regions which is bound with life temperature and rainfall high it covers about 7% of the earth surface and 40% of world's plant and animal spaces it multiple story of broad leafed evergreen tree spaces are in abundance most animals and epiphytic plants are concentrated in the canopy or tree top zones and if you fight is a plant that grows harmlessly upon another plant next is savanna biome savanna biome is most extensive in africa grasses with scattered trees and fire resisting thorny shrubs the fauna include a great diversity of grazers and browsers such as antelopes buffaloes zebras and ele elephants and rhinoceros the carnivores include lion cheetah hyena and mongoose and many rodents next biome is grassland grassland covers the north america ukraine which is dominated by grasses temperate conditions with rather low rainfall grasses dominate the vegetation the fauna includes large herbivore like bison antelope cattle rodents prairie dog wolves and rich and diverse array of ground nesting birds next biome is desert continental interiors with very low and sporadic rainfall with low humidity the days are very hot but nights are cold the flora is drought resistant vegetation such as cactus euphorbia sage brush fauna includes reptiles mammals and birds next comes to aquatic zones they are not called biomes they are divided into distinct life zones with regions of relatively distinct plant and animal life the aquatic zone includes fresh water ecosystem marine ecosystem estuaries coral reefs and mangroves water estuaries when fresh water from river meets ocean water and the two are mixed by action of tides they are called as estuaries they are highly productive as compared to the adjacent river or sea next is biosphere 
इट इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ वेयर लाइफ कैन एग्जिस्ट बायोस्फियर रिप्रेजेंट ए हाईली इंटीग्रेटेड एंड इंटरक्टिंग जोन comprising of atmosphere that is air hydrosphere that is water and lithosphere that is land biosphere is totally absent at extremes of the north and south poles at the highest mountains and at the deepest oceans thanks for watching if you are new to our youtube channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon button so that you will never miss any updates